I release you from this spirit now. Your spirit, in the name of Jesus, come up. Hey, your spirit. Hey, your spirit. Your spirit, you leave my brother now. You leave my brother. You leave his life. Come on. Your spirit, your spirit, your spirit, your spirit. Your spirit, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Your spirit, come on. Come on. Come on, your spirit, come on. Your spirit of drugs. Come on. Leave me. Come on. Your spirit of drugs. Come on, leave me. Leave him. Leave him in the name of Jesus. Come on. Leave him. Come on. Come on. <coughs> Lift your arms. Take your arms. We carry on pray with him and uh, we want him to commit this thing that is there. Hi, my name is Seme Machola. I'm coming from Tepin, KwaZulu Natal, in the small location called Molweni in Hillcrest. Uh, the reason I have to come to charity is because I want to change my life. I want to live under God's word. I was not uh, living a good life. I was living a bad life, a very, very bad life, not thinking about myself, not thinking about my family, uh, not thinking about the community. Uh, it was not a good life for me. So my brother took me to a rehabilitation center. Uh, it was called the rehabilitation center, K-Line. Uh, from K-Line, it was started to follow God because on Sundays they used to take us on the church called the City Hill. So spiritually, I started to change there slowly, slowly to accept God. Uh, because my brother's friend said uh, this place is uh, there's more spiritually, uh, I can get help here uh, to check out the demons inside of me, which I feel now I'm relieved. Before I came here, I was not in clear. My mind, even my thoughts were not good, but now I'm, my mind is clear. I've got a vision in life now. Uh, even my spiritual, I change a lot. I feel God inside of me now. Um, okay, tell me, like, what you, what you told me when we started, before, before I started the interview, what is it that you were doing before? Uh, I was selling bad stuff to people, uh, selling drugs to people, which was not good, and the end, I become the victim of it. So my life went into the train, I lose everything I got, even uh, my fiance, the, the, uh, the, 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 the girl I paid Lobola to uh, leave me, uh, my two children, took my children away from me and they left me. So my life was doomed, lose everything I've got. Yeah, I only left with the house only. I lose the cars, I lose everything I make with the bad money which make me believe it and it was a case man because all the things I bought with that money I lost it all. When I met a man of God, I was so brave, 
I even explained to him uh, my problems. I asked uh, the man of God to pray for me so that I can uh, change my life I was living. Uh, I, must, I, I must pray for me that I must live a good life. I also asked a uh, man of God uh, to help me to live under God's words and regulations. He also prayed me for, for me for that. I also asked him to pray for me to get a job uh, because I'm a qualified uh, security officer with a grade A certificate and a driver's license and the cause of a uh, cash in transit and the uh, arm response, which was the job I done it before. But through the circumstances of life, uh, the dark cloud came into my life, the drop was taken away by the demons of Satan. I also asked the man of God uh, to help me to have a good relationship with my children, which are not near me now since I was uh, living a bad life. And the man of God uh, prayed for me for all those things. And then he, prom he promised me that uh, my life will come back together and everything will be all right after the session I had with him. I even may feel inside the spirit of God inside me that everything will be okay. Yes. Uh, he told me that uh, in me he sees some uh, evil spirit. He see me living uh, two lives. Good life at the same time, the bad life. But the stronger life is the bad life, which can cause me sometimes because I can sometimes become short tempered. Maybe sometimes I end up uh, do something bad to people, which I don't like. But he was telling me the truth because sometimes I had those feelings, sometimes in my mind, yeah. He told me that uh, my life will be changed after I met him, after he prayed for me. So I, I thank the man of God because I, I feel relieved after I met him. After he touched him in my hands, on my body, in my head, and in my stomach, I feel so relieved, it's like there's something is out of my body, which was there before he touched me, and then he, before he prayed for me. I thank you very much, man of God. Yes. Yeah, I encourage uh, some people to follow God because God is only the way. That's what I see it uh, from now because uh, my eyes is like he's washed with the bleach. I can see the, the world differently now with a sober minded and a good mindset and a good spirit and, and feel good spiritually, which I think I never experienced it before. So I advise people to follow the the ways of God and the Christian and, and the Christian and the spiritual. Yeah, they must follow God. He is the only way we can survive.